Hey guys, today we are taking a tour of Big Bang Toys new store to check out their very awesome statue collection on top of the store where they have all the upcoming and also past present XM statue collectibles on display. Now, my apologies to the fans for not updating a lot more videos on the channel because frankly speaking, the last couple of weeks has been crazy. I've been traveling quite heavily for work and haven't any time to do any filming or video production of late but hopefully the next few weeks i should be able to put out a lot more videos for all of you guys first of all in the statue display section of the showroom there's actually quite a lot of marvel dc and also transformer statues that you can see up close and personal and a very big thank you to mr mickey the owner of big bang toys for allowing me to film all the gorgeous statues here up close now the lights in this showroom is actually quite bright so if you look at the video the light is a little bit harsh but i did some color correction so hopefully that should be able to compensate for the actual colors of the statue but do go and check out the statues at big bang toy stores if you have the time i actually quite enjoy looking at all the statues even though some of them are past releases because frankly speaking i never had a chance to look at all the statues up close and personal despite my visit to the xm flagship studio store in singapore the experience in the big bang toy store showroom upstairs is just a little bit different i actually get to to see the statues a lot closer than what i did versus the one in um, xm studio flagship store in singapore because frankly speaking some of the statues in the flagship store in singapore uh, were placed a little bit too high and some of them were placed a little bit too far out of reach which was kind of hard to see but i really do appreciate seeing all these comic versions of the marvel villain series such as uh, electro electro here looks she looks pretty good the colors of green and yellow really pops and if you look at the cross she actually has a very package sculpted into the statue itself it looks really good you have to see this statue in person to be able to appreciate this particular statue i am actually a very big fan of the marvel villain series so much so that i actually even have the marvel lizard in my collection which i remember i did a video before but i want to talk about the spider-man 2099 this is my first time seeing this statue up close very nice dynamic pose crushing pose i never did notice this but apparently this spider emblem is a lot more pronounced it's almost like a 3d shape compared to all the other 3d uh spider emblem that i've seen before on the suit so it actually looks pretty good a lot of texture and the color separation on the spider-man 2099 looks very good indeed it also comes with a separate head that you can actually swap out if you choose to one thing that i really didn't get a chance to look uh, in detail when i was in singapore for the xm studio flagship store was actually the white magneto so this statue is actually placed on the eye level here in the big bang toy store and frankly speaking now they actually have a chance to look at the statue with a lot more time and detail it actually looks a lot better compared to what i've seen in the flagship store magneto does seem like he's floating on top of the structure and also there's a lot of details on the base or the metal structure bent according to his magnetic power it actually looks pretty good a lot of texture details on his uniform and i do like the face cup of magneto you know smirking as well first time looking at professor x well professor x on the wheelchair to be very frank is a very basic pose the face cup itself looks very good and there's really a lot of details on the control panel on the wheelchair itself so if you're a big fan of x-men and you must have the entire team in your collection i think this is a must-have switching gears to marvel avengers series this is my actually the first time looking at Ultron up close and after looking at the design of the body and also the legs and torso it does kind of reminds me a lot of the similarities of the design with the Ultraman manga slash Netflix version it do look quite identical but there's actually quite a lot of details on all the mechanical gears pistons on Ultron I kind of wish that I have um pre-ordered this when it was released and i think that you know with the semi-gloss finish of ultron this particular statue actually does look really nice but if you actually have this piece a very nice high gloss finish will actually look even a lot better now coming to this particular lady she looks really gorgeous rogue 
with the white hair. Wow, really amazing, very nice scalp on the post. I really like the post and the wavy bandana flying in the air. Together with the light green and yellow color, it just really pops on top of those um, sentient that they are fighting against. A lot of details, especially on the chest part of the figure, a statue itself. Looks really good. If you're a big fan of the X-Men and you're completing this in your collection, this definitely looks very good. One of the older release from X-Men Studio is actually this guy. This is the Winter Soldier. Never really noticed that Winter Soldier actually has that small eye mask <laughs> that he had. But maybe this is the comic version. And I actually do appreciate the level of detail that she put in into the weapon and also on the actual base itself. The base actually has quite a lot of details on the overall structure that Winter Soldier is standing on top of. Very cool design indeed. And there's actually a lot of other Marvel statues here on display that I'm not going to cover all of them. I'm just going to cover what I can actually cover a film during my time here in the Big Bang Toys showroom upstairs. The one statue that really caught my eye, even when I was in SM Studio Singapore, was this big one for scale apocalypse. Apocalypse definitely command presence. This guy is really big and there's so much details, the color separation, the texture, level of details everywhere. Not even talking about the switch out uh, weapon on the left arm. This is one statue that I wish I have ordered. It looks really amazing. It's quite big as well. And one thing that a lot of people don't talk about is actually the base. The base of Apocalypse is actually quite a lot of nice uh, Egyptian, uh, what do you call it, the, the, the scripts on top of it. There's a lot of details that's actually put out. It would be nice if there was some sort like a light on the base, but yeah. I think maybe that would be a nice to have, but overall Apocalypse is one statue that I would really love to have in my collection. This guy is really big, you can't miss it. The moment you walk into the showroom, you will notice this guy. It's one of the biggest statue in the showroom display itself. Now switching gears to the DC section, where they actually also have the King Predator on display. This is actually my first time looking at the King Predator. And of course, the other brands are also pushing out very hard on an Alien vs Predator series line of statues. There's actually a lot of um, Aliens and Predator statues out of late. And I think with the new movie Prey on Amazon or was it Hulu, I'm sure a lot more people is going to buy the Predator statue. There's a lot of details, nice color separation ancient looking King Predator with all the weapons and also not forgetting a switch out head that you can actually use without the mask. One statue that I don't recall seeing in the XM Studio flagship store in Singapore was the Joker Orochi. This guy looks amazing up close and personal at the Big Bang Toy Store showcase upstairs. There are a lot of details and what I really like is the chrome finish of gold on the helmet and also the chrome finish on the blade that Joker Orochi is wearing. And if you look closely enough, the level of detail on the tattoo on the chest of Joker Orochi and the gold embroidery on his jacket together with the serpent circling the base of Joker Orochi, this is one good looking statue that I think for most DC fans like myself who love the Batman universe, is something that I really wanted. The combination of the chrome finish with the matte finish of the overall statue is definitely very, very nice. The statue itself is overall very clean for Joker, uh, it, which is the base where it is a lot more weathered for the serpent base that houses the Joker Orochi. As I mentioned, if you look closely into the embroidery detail on his jacket and also the uh, tattoo, I hope the tattoo will not fade over time under you know harsh display light but overall this is one good looking joker that no one else has released thus far because everybody is focusing on the batman who love joker and batman series so this is one very good looking statue indeed for joker And the companion piece for the Joker Orochi is definitely the Batman Shugo, which I'm looking at for the first time. A very nice base to complement the very cool pose of Batman Shugo indeed, with the classic Japanese uh, beacon light 
and the pose of Batman should go with tons of details on his armor with him pulling out the samurai sword it looks really good there's a lot of details and especially on the mask which of course the head there's two to three interchangeable heads that you can actually use as well what i really like about batman should go is actually the base the base itself it has the um green weather finishing and there's actually quite a lot of details on the base itself i'm not too sure whether the uh, base would light up but overall the entire piece looks very good first time looking at this guy up close and again i think if you have the cash and if you have the space you should definitely get the batman shugo and the joker orochi twin set because they should come together or separately and i think you definitely can't go wrong having these two guys in your collection And I think one statue that not many people are talking enough is the XM Studios Batwoman from the Samurai Slash Sogun series. This statue loop, uh, okay, rolling. Okay, rolling in three, two, one. One statue that I think is quite underrated under the XM Studios Batman Ninja Slash Samurai Slash Shogun series is this bad woman the pose of the bad woman is really very nice she's sleeping off the base and if you look at the entire pose you know the cape waving in the air with tons of details on her body her armor as well this is actually one statue not a lot of fans are talking enough about but this is one that i actually won't mind having in my collection but definitely for all old statue collectors there will be a bit of concern whether this pose such a dynamic pose will the base hold the statue in the long run will it tilt will it bend so i guess that remains to be seen after the next couple of years but so far the statue looks pretty good with a very nice base of a dynamic pose of bad woman dipping off to attack the enemies very nice base indeed and frankly speaking robin samurai was one statue that i didn't pay too much attention to when it was first announced because look at the pictures it did not look that nice but after looking at this statue in person wow the high gloss finish of the robin samurai on the green color parts of the armor together with the high gloss finish on his pants it looks really nice on top of the bell that he is standing on so robin samurai surprisingly looks very nice as a sidekick for Batman Shugo in this entire series. So if you are, don't believe me, go and check it out in store at Big Bang Toy Store. And finally, we have Batman Shogun. This guy was released years ago, but this is actually the first time I actually get to see this guy up close. The level of detail on his chest armor and also on the horse itself, if you look at the horse teeth, there's actually a lot of um, hard armor teeth on his uh, horse. But overall, man, Batman Shogun looks really good with the metallic finish on all the gold parts on Batman Shogun on top of his horse. Very nice looking, but unfortunately, this is all sold out and I don't think XM Studios is going to reissue the statue anytime soon at all. Anyone who has pre-ordered this and actually got this in the collection, yeah, I don't think you should sell this. You should definitely keep this in your collection as long as you can this value of the statue is definitely going to increase one thing that i did notice was um if you look at the base of batman shogun there's actually the face of joker as the base for uh that particular statue itself finally the section that i think some fans will probably be looking at is the transformers line well the transformers line is actually expanding very very quickly under the xm studios brand and for those of you who are big fans of Transformers like myself, you will have a blast looking at Optimus Prime, Soundwave and also Nemesis Prime in on display at the Big Bang Toy Store. A lot of details that I have not seen during my time at the XM Studio flagship store when I was in Singapore but seeing this guy up close on eye level definitely gives me a different perspective of why this statue looks really awesome. I think these guys are quarter scale, they definitely will require a lot of space and looking at the uh, omega spark on the chest of optimus prime yeah this guy actually looks pretty good and in case you're wondering does it come with the uh, truck vehicle mode of optimus prime yes it actually does come with the statue in itself the post of optimus prime shooting up in the air looks really good there's a lot of details 
on Optimus Prime and it comes in a very nice semi-gloss finish which I kind of wish that XM Studio would have gone with a high gloss finish instead but you know I think at least they given the uh, chrome parts of Optimus Prime with a high gloss finish for this particular statue and next up is actually Soundwave. Soundwave as you guys know is one of my favorite um, villain characters from the Decepticons. This particular statue actually is very nice because you have Tumper, uh, Ravage, all in one nice neat looking package and for some reason Soundwave looks a lot more detailed compared to Optimus Prime, almost looking like the 3.0 version somewhat. There's a lot of details, nice color separation and again a very clean semi-gloss finish on Soundwave and Finally, but not last, is the Nemesis Prime, which I think you guys should check it out. It actually has the same design as Optimus Prime, but the face sculpt of Nemesis Prime itself in black color looks a lot more sinister than what we've seen before. So there you have it, folks. This is just a very quick overview of all the statues on display at the Big Bang Toy Store in their showroom upstairs. I will be doing a walkthrough of their store once I actually have time because today I only managed to film film the showcase display on top of the store and to be very frank there's actually a lot more things to see downstairs in terms of all the products that you can buy from Big Bang Toys. In case you're wondering where is Big Bang Toys well I'll put a link down below to their store and also to their Facebook page but if you guys want to hook up with Mickey the owner do drop them a message and see what they have on their store for sale. So that's all, uh, more coverage coming up very soon. Thank you guys for watching and if you're new to our channel, you know what to do. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Thank you for watching.